Hey y'all. Uh, it's good to be back with y'all today. Uh, just getting ready here for another minute or two. Just uh, just want to encourage you tonight. Uh, Sister T's going to just sing a, a song. I'm just going to share what's on my heart today and uh, and just hope that you're blessed by it. Uh, you remember, if you all need anything, and you know, say hello to all the, the, the our church, and we so so miss you at this time, and we're yes. so so anxious to get to see everybody again. So uh, so we just want you to praise the Lord and worship with us here tonight. Go ahead, T. Yes, so we're just gonna sing a few songs. I see some people coming on. I uh, want to thank all of those that watched us uh, last Sunday, and appreciate all the positive comments. But um, to God be the glory, you know, uh, we just give him the praise and just pray that anything we say or sing will, will encourage you to just keep serving the Lord and keep trusting him because we know that he is the way maker and yes, uh, we is. so give him honor and glory. So I just want to welcome everyone uh, to our service tonight. Um, we'll probably be doing this for a while uh, until we... Uh, can maybe meet back at the church one day, hopefully soon. All of this stuff will be over. But um, good to see everybody.
that Jesus. good news that he cares so much for you yes. that he knows Amen. you. Government might only know you as a number. Yeah. Science might only know you as a statistic. But our Lord knows your name. Glory to God. Yes, we're honored. Uh, we're looking at it shows the, the number uh, of how many is watching and, and we're we're honored. And mm -hmm. I want you to know that, that you would take yes. time out of your schedule and, and that you'd worship with us and, and we could just fellowship, you know. Can't can't reach out and touch you right now, but one day this is gonna pass also. And when it does, our church, we and all the churches around uh, the, the country now is going to get back together and i believe if we allow god to do what he wants to do through this time of trying yes. that we'll be stronger we'll come we'll come back stronger than when we left but i do have a thought with you tonight uh t you're going to sing another one now uh it's I can. Uh, say he touched me yeah i want you to listen to this song it's it's one of our favorites he touched me. Just an old, old song. While she's singing and playing tonight, if you need a touch from the Lord, thank God that we don't have to all meet up in, in, under one roof and assemble, even though that's my heart tonight, is to see each and every one of you. But where you're sitting right now, if you're viewing, you're watching this, why don't you call out to him and say, Lord, I, I, I could use a touch tonight. Let's worship. Shackled by a head. Thank you, Jesus. Touch us, Lord.
and I know what y'all think and leave the singing to Sister <laughs> T there. She's going to turn that camera really quick yes. and, and I'm just going to share a thought with you today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So lucky. Yes. Uh, I went to a graveside service today and uh, I arrived a little bit in the, in the cemetery before the, the family got there. And uh, so I walked around. I've got some loved ones buried there. Uh, walked around, just looked at a few of the headstones. But while people was gathering, my eyes kind of was drawn to the very back of that little cemetery. And there was some old, old, it's an old cemetery, old graves. And I walked back there and uh, there was two headstones. And then right beside the two headstones, there was a little plaque like on the ground, another grave marker. And there was only one, one date on that little marker. It was 1937. So I don't know if the gentleman, that was his birth or that was his death. But, but there was something under there that, that was so unique, the, the, the saying, like we see on so many headstones, it, it said this, only sleeping, only sleeping. I, I don't guess I've ever seen that quite like that on, on a headstone, but only sleeping, meaning, hey, I'm taking it, that was a child of God that was, that was buried there, and that old body just only sleeping. And we all know we've got an eternity We've got an assurance. We've got a, a, a blessed assurance tonight that if we if we've made our call and election sure, if we just lay our lives in the hands of God, Amen. Through yes. Christ and what He done for us, we've got that eternal peace. But as I was thinking of that and, and this evening, I couldn't just get that out of my mind. But the Lord spoke to me about another kind of sleep that He wants you and I to really be on guard about. I want to read some scriptures out of the book of Matthew, uh, chapter number uh, 26. This time in Bible history, we, we all know Jesus now is fixing to be arrested and, and stood before a, a mock trial, and, and he will be crucified for you and I, that, that on the third day he'll rise again. And, and through the death, burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ gives us our eternal hope. So uh, as I, I want to just share this, this, this with you, I, I want you to just kind of, if you will, think with me. This was such a pivotal point now. These disciples has been with the Lord three years. He's, they've listened to his words. They've not understood everything. This is a pivotal place, a pivotal time. They're fixing to experience something they've not experienced. All they, 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 they've seen the, the healings and the deliverance, and they've seen the dead raised and all this, but they've never seen what they're fixing to see now. And in chapter 26 of Matthew, Jesus now, in verse number 36, then comes Jesus with them into a place called Gethsemane. And I remember the Gethsemane is a garden. And the word Gethsemane, in the Greek, simply means all press. And we'll get back to that in just a moment. And Jesus said to his disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. He took with him Peter, the two sons of Zebedee, which is James and John, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Word watch simply means to keep awake there. And he went a little further and he fell on his face. And Jesus prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And Jesus coming into his disciples, he findeth them asleep and said unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? And this is what he told him. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he went away the second time and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And Jesus came and he found them asleep again, and for their eyes were heavy and 
And he left them and, and, and went away again and prayed the third time, said the same words. I thought a lot about that this evening. We preached this these concepts a lot of times and uh but I want you for a moment to think where they were at. They were in the Garden of Gethsemane where eventually Jesus would be uh, arrested, first betrayed by Judas. But the word Gethsemane, again, means all press. In, in that garden, there's this, this large structure. It's a vat that every year at the time of harvest, the Israelites would come and, uh, and they would their, their harvest would be the, the olive and they would come and they would dump the the olives into the vat. And in that vat was a large, it was a trough. In, in, the, in the trough, there was a, a, a massive wheel. And animals would usually pull this, this, this wheel around. And this wheel would crush the, the, the olive. It, it, it would, it would, what it's doing, it's separating. It's separating the pulp from, from the oil because we all know how vital the, 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 the uh, oil, of the olive uh, was and is today. So many uses of that. But it was a, it was a place of, of separation. It was a place that every, every ounce of, of, of fiber that would be in that little fruit would be, would be squashed and, and pulverized and, and the oil would then would, would filter down into a trough and it would be caught into vessels. And I thought about this, that, that it was in this setting where Jesus prayed. And the book of Luke even says that his uh, sweat become his great drops of blood. And, uh, and it, it was an excruciating time uh, of what was happening there. But how much more could be painstaking than when Jesus went back and finding his people, his disciples, asleep? When the command was that if you just watch, watch and pray. And this is what he said, that you not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I thought about that today. I think about it often. How many times, if not careful, you and I falls into temptation. We simply fall asleep. You, you know, if you ever watch baseball, if, if, if the, uh, the batter's there and, and the pitcher throws the ball and it's right down the middle, it's an opportunity to him possibly to knock it out of the park, but he doesn't even swing at it. You know why? <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, commentator said, well, he was caught sleeping. He sit there, he was, he was alert, he was awake, but he was lulled at something. Maybe he was waiting on a better opportunity. Friend, can I tell you, there's no opportunity like the present tonight that we can make a difference. You say, well, preacher, we, we, we confound our, confined our homes and we're not even working. I don't know what to do. Well, in those very times, if not careful, we'll feel like we, uh, because we're handicapped, our hands is tied, that we'll fool around and go to sleep. At this time, it's critical that, that you that, that belongs to churches, wherever you might go to church, you that holds the faith and you hold it so dear, this is the very time to stay awake. This is the very time to pray. This is the very time to call on God and to trust and believe in the Lord. This is no time to, okay, well, I don't have to go to church tonight. I, you know, I, I can maybe just take it. This, this is no time to take it easy. This is the very time that you must stay awake, awake because it, like Jesus said, our spirit's willing. Our spirit's ready. We, we don't, we want to be found like the 10 virgins in Matthew chapter 5. We want to be found wise. We want to found, be found, uh, being alert and ready. And the reason those five are wise is because they had brought extra oil. They was, they was prepared for the long haul. There was five foolish. And the reason the Bible said they were foolish is simply because they made no provision for tomorrow. Can I, I hate to do that. I really do. A preacher sipping on water when he's trying to tell you something, but I think the need was then that I can continue with this thought. So remember, stay alert. Stay sober in this time of, 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 of maybe uncharted waters for us. Maybe we've not ever seen this. I know a lot of people is calling it this and a lot of people's calling it that and people's worried about the First Amendment rights and uh, people's just stirred up about But like I said, when this thing first started, be careful, at least you put more emphasis on the disease than the deliverer. 
I want to tell you, Jesus is still a healer. And this is the very time the church should be able to call out on the name of the Lord and believe God, believe the Lord that he can stretch his hand out and touch the people that's sick and afflicted, not just from this, this virus, but all the things that, that we as, as uh, Christians and, and non-Christians alike face every day of our life. All the sicknesses and the trials and the afflictions and the infirmities. Church, God made it very clear that just because we're saved and just because we believe the Lord isn't no reason that we're not going to go through trials and tribulations. Because we're going to go through many trials and many tribulations. But the promise is this. It's a blessed assurance of never having to go through any alone. Man, that's good news. That no matter where you at in your time of this life, if you're on a mountaintop or if you're in a valley below, if, you're, if you feel like you've got it all together or you feel like your world has come apart, and believe me, there's a lot of suffering, hurting people right now. There's a lot of people that, that's lonely and, and discouraged and people that's pursuing other things and they, they're putting their trust and their confidence in someone else. It's our, it's our position. It's our time. It's time for the church to shine. It's time for the church to wake up and, and, and to believe and to pray. And, and we, need, we need to make it, make it our business to find people to listen to people. Pastors, I, I believe we've got an opportunity now that we can actually connect to people even when we don't see them on a, on a, on a every Sunday basis right now. You said, well, preacher, that don't make any sense. Well, really, if your church is like mine, it's hard to get a, 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 a two-minute conversation in with any one person at church because there's always somebody else there that you want to greet and talk to and, and other people wants to talk to you. Spend some time on the phone. Not only spend time in prayer, but on the phones. And, 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 and encourage the congregations. And uh, if, you're, if you're watching by, by this thing tonight, and you don't have a congregation. You don't have a pastor. You can, you can look us up really easy. I'm easy found. And I promise you, I'll do my best to encourage you and, and to share the love of, and the word of God with you. Because you see, Jesus made it real simple to ministry that we're servants. We're not to be served, we're servants. So let us serve our congregations and let us serve our communities and let us not be found sleeping. Let us be awake. Let us awaken to righteousness. Let us hold fast to the horns of the altar of God. Let us stay stirred. And a lot of times we might not can find nobody to stir us, well, guess what? That's when you got to stir yourself by the way of remembering. Man, I'm going to tell you, when I, when I find myself discouraged at times, and oh yeah, I find myself like that, I don't have to think back too long at all to remember when the Lord touched me, when the Lord done something for my family, when the Lord saved one at, at, at church, when I, when I got an opportunity on my job that I could witness and share the love of Jesus. Man, and I want to tell you, I, I'm, like, I'm like the old preacher. I get saved every time somebody else gets saved. I get happy when somebody else gets happy. I want to stay encouraged, and I want to encourage you through this time. Be moved by the Spirit. Your Spirit's willing. Your Spirit's ready. But this old flesh man, this old thing that you stare at in the mirror every morning, he's your worst enemy. So you keep that thing dead. You keep the blood of Jesus applied to your life and plead the blood over your house, your family. Plead the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be encouraged. And not only you be encouraged, but encourage someone else. Amen. Stay awake. If, you, if, if you're watching tonight and there's more than just you standing there watching, why don't you just turn and look at somebody that might be around you and say, stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. You know, sometimes we got to shake ourselves. Sometimes we got just got to walk or so whatever it takes. Spiritually stay awake. Don't let this devil lull you to sleep. Don't, 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 don't use this as a passive time. Use this as an aggressive time. Stay awake. Stay awake. Call out on the name of the Lord because we serve a God that's got an all-seeing eye and an ear ready to hear. So stay awake. Yes. We love you tonight. We thank you. And again, we're honored to have you spend a little bit of your time with us tonight. Sister T, I'm going to pray. If you, 
just want to sing another song. And, and before you turn, turn us off, just worship with us again. I'm going to just lift up the name of Jesus. And, and for you that's watching tonight, Father, I so thank you. God, I'm, I'm humbled that people would, would turn this on, God, and, and, and watch. But you got a people out there, Lord. God, we're all in this together. We need each other. But most of all, we need you. And I pray, God, tonight that you multiply this word. That, God, that you would allow this word to circulate and, and, and maybe go into a home or on a phone that, that possibly is given up. Someone that maybe is discouraged. Someone that's lost their way. Someone simply, Lord, that's fell asleep. I pray, God, that you, by your Holy Ghost, would just reach out and touch the hearts, Lord. God, by your Spirit, that you would arrest a sinner tonight, that you would bestow them with your love, Lord, that you would allow them to feel the hope, oh God, that only you can give. God, we pray for ministry and pastors, evangelists, teachers. We pray for congregations tonight. We pray for the general public. We pray for our government, our president, Lord. Our governor, the God, the, the cabinet, the staff, oh God. Our doctors, Lord. God, our, 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 our first responders. God, for all those that's working in nursing homes and hospitals. God, keep them safe. But let them be a beacon of hope. Let them be a light, oh God, to so many that's heard it here tonight. God, we thank you now and we praise you. God, we just continue to worship you as Sister Teresa. Just sing and worship you. We magnify you all the days of our life. We thank you. Amen. Glory to God. When you stood by this, pass it around. Share it. Uh, yes. we get the message out that, hey, this thing's not over. It's only beginning for us. And we're going to just, we're going to hang on. We're going to hang in. <laughs> and one day, this too shall pass. And we can all be back together again. Uh, uh, to my church, I love you and I, I, I so appreciate you. And, and, uh, yes. and we've not forgotten about you. We're trying to make as many calls as we can. And uh, but, uh, but hey, give us a call if you need anything. Yes. And, uh, we, we sure love you. So again, Sunday, we're, we're just going to, we're going to, if we can't do nothing else, we're going to sure do this. And, uh, but we just hope and pray maybe, maybe the Lord will give us a little insight or something, maybe a little extra. We love you. Love y'all. Have a blessed Be night. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.